I got tips and tricks. In this notebook, it says finance on it, but that's not the point. I ripped a piece of paper out of it. I wrote down pros and cons and weaknesses and strengths of the new charge shotgun that's now in Fortnite. If you guys want to learn the correct way to use it and my mentality behind it on how to get better overall while playing Fortnite with this shotgun, I think it will benefit you greatly if you watch this video. So this video is going to play out by me telling you what all the strengths, weaknesses, pros and cons are, etc. And then I'm going to go into examples of when or when not you should do certain things. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to charge it, how long it takes to charge and all those things like that. I'm just going to walk you guys through the exact mindset of how you should be using this shotgun just keep in mind i waited about a day or two i listened to cypher pk's video about it as well i also streamed playing the game for about six hours to get a really good grasp on how it feels and i wrote it down in a very organized way for you guys to understand 87 percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel so if you guys can hit that sub button for the one time it would be greatly appreciated so first we're gonna start out with the weaknesses so for starters this gun is very different because it's shoot on release and it's not shoot the second you click the but this can be challenging for new people or new players to the game because they never experience something like this elsewhere. Not a lot of games do this type of shooting mechanic. I think Apex does it, but besides that, it's kind of different and not what people on Fortnite are used to. So the next weakness is the fact that this gun doesn't allow you to build, run, or even edit while you're charging. So in that case, you're trying to get a very heavy hit pump shot, but it's going to be way more challenging to get this to happen because you can't do any of the things to catch people off guard. You have to play a different way from what you're normally used to which for most people is going to be very difficult now i just mentioned this weakness but i need to mention it again and it's the fact that you can't run not being able to run is huge and it makes the game way slower so just keep that in mind now i'm gonna have an example of this next weakness on screen but it's the fact that you should wait to charge your shotgun right after you right hand peek now this might not seem that crazy or crucial but it actually is and every second really matters especially when you're right hand peeking someone because you need it to be as quick as possible but with that being said i'm gonna kind of mention this later on in the video now this weakness in particular was a weakness last season as well but this is also way more noticeable now that they reduce the weapon damage across the board with the SMG, the drum gun, and the ARs, and the shotguns. Now, when you're using this shotgun, you need to switch to another weapon to finish off the kill almost 90% of the time. Unless you one pump the guy in the head, which is gonna be really hard with this new meta, you're gonna have to switch to another gun. This will allow you to kill them faster than if you just waited for the thing to charge up again. Now, this next weakness is the fact that this gun needs to constantly be reloaded. Even if you hit a heavy shot, let's say for 100 plus, you're you're gonna have to constantly reload because you might whiff your shots more than likely because the reticle on the gun gets smaller as you charge it so the more you charge it the more the reticle shrinks so even as you're watching me in this entire video you notice that i'm constantly reloading because this gun only has three bullets to it now cypher did mention this in his video and he brought up the fact that this gun probably shouldn't have three bullets in it now if cypher's talking about it who knows fortnite probably listens to his video so it actually might change change it's good to know that the gun came in at a weak stage rather than a really really buff stage where it's overpowered for everyone that way they can tweak it more and more and more as the season progresses rather than starting out really strong and people hating it next let's move on to the pros now i'm gonna keep it a buck with you these pros are kind of situational now this shotgun really stands out when you're trying to play defense it's definitely good for catching people off guard when they're playing really aggro on you now if you're the one sneaking up on someone the second you charge it they're gonna hear you so in that case it's not good for sneaking up but in other cases where someone is constantly trying to hack your wall or someone knows that it's their wall and they come in and they edit on you then it's pretty likely that you'll get a heavy hit on them if you're expecting them to come through the wall as well as it's good for build battles when you're trying to peek from low ground and there's a very common thing that happens when you're low ground and you have a cone above you as you're ramping for height you might jump above the cone and then get Get a quick shot off on someone and get probably a heavy hit shot with that pump because it's gonna give you time to charge it because you know it's coming but they don't here's an example of a real game where i'm demonstrating this as you can see i charged before i jumped up to get way more damage at about a medium range which looks pretty far for a shotgun and got 46 on him you just hit 46 on me all right chill just out right here hey, man. Let this kid drop in our box. Knock, knock, knock. 
Another pro is that this shotgun works well when you're trying to pre-fire someone. Now there are different types of pre-firing where you edit peak, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when they edit peak first and then that's when you pre-fire. Now this particular pro will make the advanced players stand out more because while you're in the air, you'll be able to charge before you actually jump and hit a really heavy pump shot from far away. And then the second after you release, you can build right away. Now this takes more skill. That's why I say it's tailored towards the more advanced players. But I've noticed I can get a lot of heavy hit shotgun shot whenever I'm jumping off a stair and then trying to look up and shoot the guy that I'm fighting. Then right after that, I'll build to catch myself. This is something that happens a lot and helps me get the jump on the guy that I'm versing. If this video gets 3000 likes, I'll slap myself across the face in the next video because why not? Like it. Just know that this shotgun has a one second charge time to go from zero to 100% charge. So if you want to get the maximum amount of damage, you need to charge it for a full second before you actually shoot. So just keep in mind, even if you charge this for a half a second, it would still do more damage than the base damage, but it wouldn't do as much damage if you charge it for a full second. So just try and remember that whenever you're in a fight, you always tell yourself to get the charge off for one second unless you really, really have to get it off quick. Keep in mind that the damage is proportional, so the longer you hold it, the more damage you're gonna do. I'm gonna list off all the numbers for the shotguns when it's fully charged and base damage right now. Okay, so we're talking base damage with these shotguns. We're going from gray to green to blue, purple, gold, and then mythic. So it's 80, 85, 89, 93, 98, and then the mythical is 102 base damage. So that means no charging to the body, all five shells hit. So the next important stat is no charging, five shells to the head, how much is it hitting for? We're talking a gray headshot, no charge, 120 to the head then a gold is 147 max damage to the head i'm not going to list the other ones because it's in the range of 120 to 147 it's really not that big of a spread so it's not worth mentioning these are all numbers that i found offline and on youtube videos now we're talking a full one second charge which is the max charge to the head all five shells hit gray is 180 damage blue is 200 and the gold to the head not mythical just gold is 220 now the mythical i'm pretty sure is 230 i could be wrong on that but i'm almost positive so in conclusion if you want to 200 pump someone you need a blue or better to 200 dead anything less than that you're gonna have to take out a spray okay so boom now we go into the next portion of the video where i'm showing you guys real game examples of how to use this shotgun correctly one thing to notice right here is you guys see how i'm keeping my distance whenever i'm in this fight even though my teammate is pressuring the other wall i'm still keeping my distance because i know i'm not going to be able to get a fat pump shot in when i'm wall replaced notice how even though i'm not charging in this scenario it's because i'm editing really quickly and i need to get a quick shot in and reset the edit so whenever you're in a situation like this i would recommend to not fully charge your pump unless the guy is not looking at you because that way if you're both looking at each other he's going to get the first shot on you since you have to edit you need to keep in mind that it's shoot on release and that you actually have to let go of the button in order for it to shoot so while you're doing wall replaces and stuff like that make sure that you don't get put in the old habit where you try and shoot right away you have to let go in order for it to register notice how i don't whip out my ar or anything else to shoot this guy i use my shotgun because i know that the damage is crazy from medium to even semi long range so when you get a full charge in like i do right here and you hit this guy in the body he's flying in and he is toast i just want to make you guys aware of the fact that this gun is more so like the combat shotgun in a sense because it does heavy hit shotgun shots for medium range then from here since i have the mythic version i know that i'm going to be hitting 100 plus easy as long as i hold it for like a fraction of a second so that's exactly what i do once i pressure this guy's wall i know that he's kind of one shot so i just hit him in the blankest way possible and get an easy kill and win the game but right here is actually a clip that i screwed up on and i want to show you guys my mistakes as well because this is important when it comes to learning notice how he hit me really hard as well as i hit him back but the most important thing to note from this situation is that you constantly have to make sure you're reloaded this is really crucial as you can see right here i wasn't able to get a hit on this guy when he wasn't expecting it because i'm so used to the previous meta unless i had attack right there i was not going to be able to get a shot on him because my shotgun wasn't even reloaded so just remember to always keep this thing reloaded whenever you're moving through throughout your build fights. Keep your distance from them as well because you don't want to get sucked into their box just like I did right here. But luckily I was able to get a nice pre-fire on him by holding the charge and getting a fat pump shot on him which just killed him. If you guys want to discuss this topic any further, I have a discussion.
Discord with PC related questions and Fortnite related questions. You guys can ask me anything you like. I live stream very often on Twitch. You can come through on the chat there and we can have a conversation as well. If you're feeling generous and you want to support me even further, then you can use my creator code KEMBEANS in the Fortnite item shop. I would greatly appreciate it as I only have a couple people using my code at the moment. I appreciate all the support like always, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Deuces. Peace.